Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. Only a few days left, it's crazy. Or no, a couple days left. Uh, anyway, I'm starting this vlog a little bit later in the morning. I um, actually had a bit of a sleep in. For some reason, Sean and I had like the shittiest sleep last night, both of us, it was really weird. Um, we went to bed early, like, or not early, but like our normal time, which is early anyway. And then we both were like wide eyed and awake at 1 a.m. And finally, Sean gave up at even trying to sleep. And he, I think he's stressed, which is why he didn't sleep because he's finishing a, like closing a job that he's running. Anyway, so he finally gave up on trying to sleep because he gets up at 5 a.m. in the morning anyway and left to go to work at 2 in 2.30 in the morning this morning because he's just like, whatever. It'll allow him to get extra stuff done. And I mean, based on his job, he's used to working like some uh, like weird hours and stuff. So he left, but for me, I am so used to like, I don't know what it is. Like I, my body's like used to getting up with him. Like that's kind of when I get up, even though I'm not like leaving for work typically, or I would never leave for work that early. So like I couldn't sleep either. So I was up until almost five this morning <laughs> and then finally passed out and then got up around eight. So I'm still feeling a bit sleepy because it wasn't a good sleep, even though I did catch up a little bit on the hours. But yeah, I just kind of feel a little bit off this morning. I'm wondering if it was the wine that I had last night because it was a newer wine and I am feeling a little bit like gross today. So I need to get one of those like wine wands that you guys were talking about uh, or try them in there. Anyway, so I don't know if that's like what's kind of thrown me off, but yeah, I'm just feeling like off today. Like I'm just, yeah, I'm feeling a bit off. But anyway, despite that, um, it's around 11 now and I'm just gonna let Jasmine out quickly for a walk. And then I'm actually going to be meeting my girlfriend, Michelle, and she and I are going to be heading for just a simple lunch together. We're just gonna grab some soup, I think. And uh, it's actually at a restaurant I have heard of, but I've never been to. So we're gonna go there and then we are going to head off to a place called Dundurn Castle. She and I both like the old English like castle slash Downton Abbey slash the crown vibes. <laughs> um, and they're doing a Christmas thing there. I'm not really sure exactly what my, I think it's that they've set up the castle to look like a traditional Christmas from like way back in the day, I believe. So I believe that's what we're going to look at if I'm not mistaken. So I'm really looking forward to it. I love seeing really old like festive, holiday traditions from like you know god knows how long ago i'm always fascinated by it and seeing like what they did so it will probably be cold because i imagine that we can't go well i don't know if we'll be able to go in the rooms i'm gonna imagine probably not my guess is that they're gonna be staged and we'll be standing outside so i'm gonna bundle because it's minus 15 i think today <laughs> So it's good that we're gonna be having some soup to warm us up beforehand, but I'm looking forward to that. And then tonight, I'm supposed to go and see my cousin's wife. She's having a girl's night that I'm going to go to. The only thing is I'm hoping like my stamina will keep up because I'm, like I said, I'm feeling off and I'm feeling really tired. So as long as I'm still feeling good, I'll go. But it would be nice to see her and like have another girl's night. Yeah, I'm just, I can't believe, like I'm just, I'm really, really feeling off. So anyway, I'm gonna let Jasmine out. family that lived here at Dunder, but also about Victorian Christmas traditions. This tall tower here is the dovecot where McNabs kept pigeons, which they would have used for food. And then this white building back here is the military museum, focusing on the 1812 history of the site. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Wrap around. I wish I had the time to like decorate my place with it. Oh, me too.
Hello beautiful people. I'm now back home. It is, what time is it? It's three o'clock. Uh, Michelle and I had a fabulous time. I actually don't even think I got a clip of Michelle, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, but we had a great lunch. Um, it was nice just catching up and then oh my gosh Dundurn Castle was so cool I haven't been there since grade school because a lot of schools or sorry not even grade school. I think I was in like I like nursery school and uh, We did like a tour. I don't even think we went inside. It might have just been the grounds outside or something anyway Amazing, amazing. It's all the Downton Abbey vibes. <laughs> um, but just incredible to see, of course, how people lived back in the day, how formal everything was, uh, like how the main house lived, and then in contrast to how the servants lived. I don't know if it all have shown in the shots, but we actually went into the servants' quarters in the basement, and it showed the area where the cook was. And of course, they don't have like it was expensive to have gas lighting and things like that. So the cooks down there had to deal with the natural lighting. So if they needed to check ingredients or read a recipe, they would have to go over to the window. And they kept everything very true to the nature of the time. So again, like the lighting was super dark in there. But there was a woman in there that was cooking food. She actually made some shortbread that we sampled. And, uh, oh, it was so good. But she was actually cooking things in the range or like stove like stove and whatnot in the ovens for an event that they were having at Dundurn like later that night. And she was saying how finicky it is to work with even though she's been using that range like slash oven system for 12 years now. Like that's how long she's been working there. Anyway, it felt like very cozy and and, and like smelt fantastic down there. But like you really realize how crappy the living situation was for like the servants and whatnot that were like living and working there. But oh my gosh, like wow, some of the rooms were beautiful and the decor that they had done specifically for Christmas uh, to show what it would have been like at a Victorian uh, like Christmas time was just, oh, it was so nice. Michelle and I really enjoyed it. It was lovely. And of course it was so nice like talking and hanging out with her as well. So anyway, I'm home with a little fl white flurry f fluffy fur ball. <laughs> Sorry, and um, it's actually nice to get out in the like fresh air and just out. I'm feeling less tired than what I was earlier, which was fantastic. Initially, I was planning like, oh, I'm gonna have a nap and <laughs> try and recharge before like my event or not event, but like shenanigans for tonight. But actually, I think I'm going to plug away at a little bit of work. I know I said I'm like kind of done work, but when I say that, I mean more like client ending or client based work is done now for the year. So I am going to do a little bit of work now. Uh, and then I think I'm gonna take it easy because I'm really trying to lean into the fact that I wanted to finish up early for Christmas. And it is Friday. So I do wanna try and lean into that. So I'm just gonna set a timer for myself and just get some emails done and work away for about an hour. And then I'm just gonna take it easy. And I think I'm going to put on Miracle on 34th Street and maybe brew a cup of tea with you guys because it's not a movie Sean likes, like Christmas movie wise. But I love watching that movie. I like both the older and newer version, but I like the newer version best where it has, I don't know the actress's name, but it's the little girl that was also in Mrs. Doubtfire. I can't remember. I don't recall like what uh, year it was produced or made, but I really, really like that one. So I'm gonna watch that as well, it's so snuggly. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna do that and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Hello again, angels. It is now later in the evening. It's around seven o'clock, or sorry, I think it's almost 7.30. Um, I'm getting ready to head out to my next festive get together and I'm actually wearing a similar outfit that you guys already saw that I was wearing during book club. So I am wearing my hexagon earrings you guys always see because <laughs> I love them so much. I am wearing this really cool um, ring set from Chloe that I've had for quite some time but I just love the collective rings and I've got one of my mom's old watches on because you guys know I always wear something from her. Excuse the mess over here. <laughs> But I always wear something for my mom, so I'm wearing an old watch by her Yeah, that I really like. Uh, I'm wearing my Lily Silk Cashmere uh, turtleneck that you guys would have seen in a few videos now. And then what's similar is I've gotten the same kind of look. I switched out the sweater, even though it looks similar, but I still paired it with these Zara leather trousers, or pleather trouser, trousers, sorry, I should say. And then I've just got some black ankle boots on um, that I've got like actually black corporate tights underneath, like the almost knee high, like stocking tights um, and I didn't want to wear these boots but I can't find the ones that I'm looking for so to me actually this looks a bit awkward but it doesn't matter because we're just gonna be inside anyway so quite frankly I'm just taking this off when I get there so it just means to the end or it means to an end until I get there but yeah I'm going to be heading out and I'm looking forward to it so I'll bring you guys along 
Also, I just realized I was filming that with a black dot here in case any of you noticed, you may have not. But I got like a mascara dot when I was putting on my mascara, so I was just letting it dry because you should never like smudge it off right away. You let it dry and then it'll just flick off. Flick off. So I had to mention that in case you guys noticed. <laughs> Hey angels, it is now 12.30, I'm back home. The, the time was great, I don't know how much I actually got to show you guys, I'm really sorry. But uh, yeah, just good old fashioned festive fun with everybody. Our evening came to a bit of a close abruptly because um, we had a bit of a family emergency. And um, yeah, we just had to close up shop. So I was at my cousin's wife's place, so my cousin's home, and he took himself to the hospital. But for that reason we closed up the night because obviously, um, his wife wanted to join him at the hospital, and I don't blame her. So, um, sort of a crappy way to end the night, but of course, like all of us understand, like of course, that, that kind of stuff always comes first. So we packed in the night, and I've come home, and I put on uh, the kettle, because I'm just gonna uh, make a tea with you guys for our advent. So we'll look at the advent in just a second. But I'm kind of texting with her back and forth just to get some updates, so I figured I'd at least have a cup of tea in the meantime. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we'll see how the evening goes. But it was really fun. We did like some ornaments uh, that we made. Mine was absolutely terrible. And yeah, we just enjoyed each other's company. It was actually really, really nice just to get together with a group of girls and celebrate and just enjoy one another's company and just be silly and laugh about absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's dive into our tea. Okay, so for day 22. Oh, I thought there was nothing in there for a second, but that's not true. Okay, so today we have Satsuma Spice Cake. I have never had that before. It actually sounds really good. Sweet caramelized citrus. Well, the citrus part, I'm not too sure, but we'll see. Low caffeine, which I'm all about. <laughs> okay, let's see what it tastes like. Okay, I'll try the tea. I don't know that I love the smell. I can definitely smell like the citrus of it. It smells like oranges, but you guys know I don't like that in tea. <laughs> Just think only two more days of watching me try tea and then you'll never, never have to watch me sample tea again. All right, moment of truth. Surprisingly, I don't mind it. You know what this one tastes like is Oh, what company is it that makes it? The chocolate oranges, you know the ones that you smash on the counter and it opens up into like little orange slices? It tastes like that. That's exactly what it smells like and tastes like. So I, I don't mind it. Um, I probably won't drink, well maybe I'll drink the whole thing tonight because I'm kind of up waiting. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It wouldn't be my first choice. Like I wouldn't go out and buy it, which I'm sure will shock nobody because you guys know I don't, haven't really been liking the David's Advent. Out of, so now that we're on day, 22. I think out of all of them, I've liked seven. Is that not terrible? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I won't be buying it again in the future. I'll be getting a different kind of advent. I'll probably go back to the diptyque. I think they're super cute. Uh, anyway, guys, I am going to leave the vlog here. So I'm sending you guys all the love to the moon back. We're going to hang out, do some Christmas shopping tomorrow and more festive fun. We're going to have a lot of family shenanigans tomorrow with my siblings and uh, their other halves. So I'm sending you guys all the love to the moon back and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye guys.